there, it's Green Swanica Protest. And this is some more literature as ASMR. And I'm going to cover lots of information today. This is my lovely gold and magenta fan, which I'll use from time to time. And these are magical mermaid scales. Mermaid scales, I say. And we're going to put this over here. Whoops, maybe over here for now. And I'm going to get something else, which we haven't seen in a while, or heard in a while. This is just crinkling, some sparkly paper. That's always comforting to see from here. And of course I've got my green Swanica Proetus fishnet. ASMR glove on. And there you can see my bracelet. And I want to tell you an interesting story about this bracelet. This bracelet used to be a lovely watch. Then it stopped. So then I just painted it and made it into this lovely, almost gothic, possibly steampunk style bracelet. So, now you know the story of that bracelet. Now I'm going to move my crinkly paper to a different location. And also, I forgot to mention, I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter celebration recently, or those who celebrate. So I didn't create Easter ASMR, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just cover it today, and maybe next year in future years I'll do some more ASMR. We're going to put that over here. This is our Easter bunny. Very soft. Squish him and he'll be okay. But this is definitely for Easter. And I will definitely have this little squishy bunny make an appearance for a future Easter videos. And now I'm going to present, because it's National Poetry Month, the gift of information or word offering, I like to call it. And this is, first I'm going to show you, from the West Virginia Humanities Council, one of their postcards. And this one is celebrating West Virginia poet Louise McNeil. And as you look at this, I'm going to read this information. 1911, 1993, West Virginia's Poet Laureate from 1979 to 1993. McNeil is best known as the author of Golly Mountain, her first collection of poetry. Much of her writing was inspired by the Pocahontas County farm on which she grew up. In this book and others, McNeil applied her art to tasks normally associated with historians, biographers, and folklorists, preserving a rich vision of rural Appalachia in West Virginia. Many council programs have supported the study of West Virginia's literary voices. And again, Louise McNeil, West Virginia Poet Laureate for National Poetry Month. April. Let's show the beautiful postcard once again. Lovely illustration. And then I'll set it aside. 
that was your gift, your word offering for today's literature as ASMR session. And until next time. Green swanically yours because, as we know, <laughs> poetry blooms. Eternal.